Hello, once again, audience, and welcome back to Dominations with Christopher. I wanted to go over with you today uh, something that I have found useful on a few occasions during, usually during regular looting, as well as a few times during the war, which is how to distract a mortar. Um, we are in war here with Eminent Domain on my secondary account. Um, and let's see. This guy doesn't even have a mortar. Oh, yes, he does. He's got one little mortar right there. Um, so, with that said, I think we'll come in and actually sabotage this one because it's not a very good example as to how to actually distract a mortar. That mortar will be hitting right about there. I thought it was possible to get through this wall here with a heavy. I would probably come in from there. Mortars will typically go after what's after whatever is after them, uh, meaning your heavies. So the idea being to get some pikemen or some heavies in there before your primary attacking force is under fire. Um, but with that said, let's go and knock this guy off, and then we'll find a base that we can loot. Let's see, eighty-five-two alliance. I'm missing a general. I have little generals now. We'll go with Cleo. They're all little level ones, but that's all right. We'll soon change that. I think we can forego that. And those. And we can probably throw some ninjas in the mix just for fun. Uh, one less. There's that. Okay. Let's run away with that. Yeah, that looks good. That looks like a good time. I'm only going with some one supply cart. Um, with only 80, 80 troop spaces, 85 with the event on, I find that that's the better way to do it. So, how do we want to go about that? That's five away, so if we go right there. Love it. Now, 15%? That's no good. We're going to distract all of them over here, and then we'll throw our ninjas in. Oh, right here. That looks good. And then we'll... Got some cleanup troops in there afterwards. Look at those little ninjas go. Oh, I'm just going to go. <laughs> Mom's having a nap. Okay, I'll get him. Two seconds. I'm actually recording right now. It's hot here today. You can sit back earlier. It's only gotten hotter. Where am I going to open park? It would be downstairs, wouldn't it? Did you happen to sit in there? Mm. We should probably do that. We didn't even need all our troops. There we go. No losses. And that's how you do that. Desmond, come out of the room. Come on. Here, bud. All right. Uh, I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> Keep your sticks on the ice and have a good time. Oh no, what are we doing? We're not gonna stop here. Give me a break. Let's go and see if we can't find something 
that allows me to show you how to distract a mortar or a catapult. Either will work. Um, so this would be a good one because you can come on from two sides here. Oh, and here. So we'll get them all in there. I can hang on to my heavies because the purpose of heavies obviously is to take that mortar fire and whatnot and do something with it. There's a supply cart down there. Now when these guys are done killing that first wave, what we shall do is throw those two down there. And they're going to draw the fire from that. And we'll let them get through there. And you'll notice that those, those cataphracts just take it. They're like, that's nice. We've got this. And being that I'm British, um, as soon as you're actually through, you don't really have to worry about much else. Make that healing card heal them all up. And it's about a... Those heavies are probably going to die here shortly. And we will to that ballista tower. Uh, we're most certainly not going to get the quick victory. But you saw what I did there, is that I had my primary troops in first. And then I picked a different location that was closer. In order to actually carry on with the rest of my attack and distract that mortar fire. I did take one hit, but still I've got 33 remaining. Um, and that works even with if you only have one cataphract and you're 75% of the way through a base and you find that there's that one mortar that's going to start hitting your troops. If you can drop one troop within range, it will distract it just enough to actually give you that extra little advantage. I'll get the rest of my guys in here. Yeah, 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 Oh, good. Where were they? Ah, they fell behind your dad. You can't find swimming shorts. That's not like that. That's a ninja, ninja dojo. Four, three, two. Uh, we're going to go swimming here in about, I think, probably half an hour, sweetie. And there you have it. That can be the difference between losing all of your troops and hanging on to your, all your troops and ma making it through a base. Um, and that's how you distract mortars or go. cannon fire. I hope you found this helpful. Uh, leave comments or suggestions down below for other how-tos or tips that you would like to see examples of. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, keep your sticks on the ice, and have a good time.